So today we're going to look at another high yield topic, which is to do with erectile dysfunction. So let's start as ever with a question. So the correct answer here is E, chronic kidney disease. So a couple of things that are tricky here. Uh, first of all, this question was asking specifically which of these is not on the selected list scheme, or SLS, which is a list of conditions that allow NHS prescription of branded medication for erectile dysfunction and certain other generic medication for erectile dysfunction. So some of the things that changed, some medications like generic sildenafil are not on this scheme anymore. So any patient with erectile dysfunction can get that. But this question was asking specifically about uh, branded Viagra, which is still on the selected list scheme. And uh, the other conditions on this list, so diabetes, uh, prostate cancer, and so on, uh, these are all on the selected list scheme. Now, renal failure, bad enough to need either dialysis or treated with transplant, is on the selected list scheme. But just having chronic kidney disease is not enough to allow NHS prescription, it's not on the SLS. Um, so if you had patients that didn't fulfill any of the criteria, then in some cases, if they were referred to a specialist and they felt that it was causing extreme distress, then they could uh, have NHS prescription for you know some of these other branded and generic uh, erectile dysfunction medication. So just to recap, some of the other conditions on the selected list scheme are listed here. So anyone with these conditions can get an NHS prescription for erectile dysfunction medication, uh, anything from the list. Um, so, and finally, remember, sildenafil is no longer on the SLS scheme uh, in generic form only. So I hope that's been useful and do join us again for the next 30-day AKT challenge. Thank you.